sniff on the holes in my shoes. I stick my tongue in the holes in my teeth. I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live as if the world gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself for the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing and the punk kids who moved in the Potholes collecting garbage To prove we don't need governance To do these things And I'll wake up Burning Times Square as we sing Throw your hands in the air Property is robbery
I swear that someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day, not doing the heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words Let's get this shit started. Then we have a crick in my neck. <coughs> Sorry. There we go. Yes, yeah, rather foggy in Vegas tonight. Ah, uh, happy Andy Dick back in jail day to you too, beast. Ah, oh, fuck that guy. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Uh, I don't know what I did. I'm doing legs today, and somehow I fucked up my neck and shoulder. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm an idiot. I don't know how the fuck I pulled that off. Um, where was it? Was it pure schadenfreude? Why is it not in pure schadenfreude? Why is Andy Dick being arrested not in pure schadenfreude? Um, there it is. All right. From WTF. I don't know why, 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 why is it in, what the fuck? I mean, it makes perfect sense. Andy Dick being arrested. Um, do not let Andy it. take advantage of JJ. Do not let Andy sleep next to JJ. Do not let Andy hump JJ. You guys have to protect JJ. Go, please don't let JJ out of your sight around Andy. Do not let Andy take advantage of JJ. Do not let Andy sleep next to JJ. Do not let Andy hump JJ. I love that somebody's abusing the, the, the text to speech just like we were. <laughs> right out of the gates. Dude, the fucking that night, like the, the, the crew that was watching was hesitant to start abusing the uh, the TTS until fucking Caboose just lays, like, lays into this motherfucker with it. Oh fuck you, Andy Dick. Fuck you. JJ's forty years old. He knows what he's doing, okay? Burgers? Yeah, is that funny to you? I'd have to think hard about that one. That's a good one. Do you? Well, I read, I read, I was, what's up? What in the fuck is going on? You know, we'd be here all night. Yeah, 
here all day if we started but talking about my one? We were talking about my regrets, so we'd never get out of here. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Green. Yeah, I'm like, that sounded like Tom Green. Can we have Tom Green come over one of these days? That'd be great. But Tom Green's a semi-functioning human being, so he's probably not going to hang out with your dumbass. So fucking strong. Yeah. He really is. He's fucking like strong as fuck. This is... I, I'm sorry for those of you who have no idea what's going on. <laughs> we won't... You know what? We'll hold on to this. We'll hold on. We'll hold on. We'll hold on, we'll hold on to this. Oh... Uh, We'll hold on to this because I want to watch this. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Andy. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I would love to know how the fuck I tweaked my neck shoulder complex thing. Uh, doing legs today. Oh, morning, Caleb. They're all fucked up, so far, content creators. Hey, you know what? Uh, all right. Yeah, it was, what was it, $5 a pop, Caboose? It was $5 a pop or something like that. Uh, <laughs> hashtag make Andy Dick a virgin again. <laughs> um, um, I mean, depending on where Andy gets put. He's a mouthy son of a bitch and he's kind of pretty still. Like he's he's got he's got not like truly masculine features, right? Like I'm, I'm not he's not like femboy pretty, but he's he doesn't have traditional masculine features, right? He doesn't have like a chiseled jaw and the fucking shit like that, right? So I'm just saying scrawny white boy who likes to mouth off going to potentially some like hard time jail. I mean, sure, he's famous, but he ain't that famous. He's not, like, get special treatment famous, and he's blown through all of his money. It's not like he's going to be hiring some high-priced attorney. Fucking Andy Dick is screwed on this one, I think. <clears throat> he ends up running the place with a harem. Dude, I... <laughs> That's more David Spade, I feel like. David Spade would pull that off. David Spade always hit way, way above his fucking, his weight class. He was always able to punch above his weight class. He still is. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, couldn't happen to a more appropriate fellow. Oh, yeah, Andy Dick is, the, we, we had, we had a night. See, this is, this is a continuation. Some of us are in on this. I'm sorry, like I said, I'm sorry for those that you, that don't, like, know. Dude, we, we had a night. <laughs> Of just pure seething hatred for Andy Dick, right? Like a bunch of us are older. We're fucking boomers, right? And Andy Dick is from our generation and he left a scar that none of us are over. <laughs> it has not fully, it hasn't fully healed. It's it's still an open wound to some extent. And with, there are there are people out of the millennial generation who just have a seething hatred for Andy Dick. Like for real. Um, and yeah, we, we, we just never forgive, never forget. <laughs> Fuck Andy. <laughs> yeah. And so like, we've like, I think it was Beast who discovered like somebody, I'm pretty sure somebody, somebody discovered that Andy Dick was live streaming on some random Las Vegas streamers couch. And he was like fucked up and it was just, it was like, it was a car wreck. So we tuned in. And there was text to speech donations, five dollars a pop, and Caboose abused the fuck out of it. And fucking, oh man, fuck, this is just some twists of the knife, like for real, trying to get under his skin. And then other people started abusing the text to speech, and that's why I was laughing. Like they're still doing it. I love it. Uh but yeah, yeah, fuck Andy Dick, that motherfucker. Like I have no sympathy for him. <laughs> It's just not present. Oh, uh, I love how the one that got to him was mentioning he didn't have any friends. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. There was, dude. He he. The when like when we poked at him with the whole like you killed Phil Hartman, <laughs> shit. 
water off a duck's back. But when fucking Caboose takes a swing and it's just like, Andy, what's wrong? Where are your friends and your family and your loved ones? Why can't you call upon them? <laughs> oh, that one got to him. Yeah, that one got him. That one cut. You could you could hear it. You could see it. It cut deep. Yeah, he 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 was not happy with that one. <laughs> seen Andy and Ivanka Trump video? I haven't. I have not seen the Andy Dick and Ivanka Trump video. Uh, oh, <laughs> I can't say that. That's TOS. <laughs> That would have been good for VS, uh, VC, though. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so, did y'all hear about the, the, the Twitter thing? The market cap for Twitter, like, collapsed. The market cap for Twitter came down $9 billion, which is below Musk's purchase price. So now there's questions as to whether the deal will proceed even. And if he backs out of it, there's like a billion dollar fine. Like there's a fee for backing out of it. And it's a billion dollars. <laughs> he can cover it. It's a fucking chump change. But it's still a chunk. That's that's a fucking funny number. That's That's where it gets interesting. It's like, look, you back out of this one, it's a billion dollars fucking all right but yeah there's there's questions now as to whether the deal can actually happen or not due to the lowered price so yeah uh we'll we'll see we'll see if there's some sort of rebound but the the entire S&P uh S&P 500 like fell like a fucking just a lead a lead weight so yeah um stock is sitting somewhere around like 44 dollars something like that um but they were expecting to go through at 54 a share so yeah <laughs> we'll we'll see what happens we'll see what happens um that um, hepatitis thing in kids that we were talking about the other day that, that had come up. Some Japanese researchers have been looking into it and they think it's an Omicron variant. Um, yeah, they, they uh, um, Kyoto University. Yeah, that's, that's their working hypothesis due to the data they have at this point. Yeah, they think it's an Omicron variant. <clears throat> Um, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see if the, the hypothesis, you know, if the conclusions bear any weight or not long-term, but, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, don't know. I have... I have a bunch of good Popo's Bizarre Adventure stories, and by good, I mean you're gonna want to fucking slit your wrist. Um, <clears throat> the cops have been up to it. There's there's a few stories coming in that you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I love those stories. Uh, let's see. What was it? Oh, by the way. I mean, Caleb, I know, right? I, Andy should have been put away ages ago. Um, good news, everyone. It's good news for us. Uh, it's good news for us. Uh, U.S. casinos had their best month ever in March. Yeah. <laughs> Amidst soaring, uh, um, uh, soaring inflation, supply chain issues, <laughs> and COVID that is just sort of ever-present at this point, U.S. casinos had their best month ever. 
So on behalf of Las Vegas, um, our economy thanks you all. Um, thank you for uh, contributing. Whether you probably have, whether you know it or not, in fact. <laughs> uh, 5.3 billion in March. Uh, good to see capitalism still doing its thing. Yep. 5.3 billion in a month. You dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, yes. Cricks, yes. <laughs> it's desperation combined with the fact that it's escapism. You walk into a casino, it's a different world. Um, the, your, the, the problems of the real world exist outside the casino. I'm serious. It's, it's a thing. They're specifically designed to m manipulate your psychology in that manner. Um, so it is a, it, it feels like a safe space. It feels like a retreat where the problems of the real, real world can't get you. Um, and it's the biggest fucking Venus flytrap motherfucker there is. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's, it's, it's manipulative. It's intentionally manipulative. It isn't an accident. It is very much by design. Um, some top tier talent over many generations have gone into this process. <laughs> it's for real. Um, yeah. And yeah, 5.3 bill in March. Thanks y'all. Most of it came here. When we talk casinos in the U.S., there's a lot of them, but we take basically half. The house takes its a cut. Uh, oh, speaking of COVID, my job cut my fucking hours down. I saw that um, by one hour because COVID is ending and we're cutting our sanitation budget. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, y'all. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, isn't it grand? <laughs> isn't it grand? It's... You just sit back and you're like... Okay. Nothing we can do. Right? Get your fucking boosters, wear your mask, wash your fucking hands. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> this shit... These fucking morons are bound and determined. All right. <laughs> That's just what it is. Fucking COVID is endemic and it's going to have to be tracked like the flu. It's going to every year there's going to be a body count associated with COVID probably and whatever variant it has. And... That's it. We're just like, you remember how we, we have the flu? Well, we have now have COVID. That's it. Like, it's just going to be like, it's going to be like that. We're going to start stacking them, by the way. Mm hmm. That's what's going to happen. We'll start stacking those. We're, we're not doing anything to get rid of them. So, mm, shit could get interesting. Just keep your eye on that. Uh, cutting the sanitation buzzer. Jesus, fuck, that's the dumbest idea I've heard in a long time. Well, you know, tech support. Um, could tech support. I can, I can, I can make it better for you because Caboose works at the postal, uh, postal service. Do you feel better now? How about, how about now tech support? Do you, do you feel better now that, that, that the facility that said that was a United States postal service facility? <laughs> oh, I love doing that. <laughs> the world is conspiring to make me drink heavily and pray for nuclear apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> fuck all of this. <laughs> oh, hey, Deirdre. Uh, never know. Could pretty much uh, end the flu with people keeping clean and masked only during flu season. I mean, hey, here's to here's to uh, silver linings and shit, right? Be uh, right, beast. It happens. It happens. Uh, actually, the Postal Service is saying COVID isn't over yet. Be prepared for resurgence. I work for a private corporation contracted by the Postal Service. It's the corporation's call. 
that's what we call plausible deniability. Uh, hey, I mean, I suppose. Sure. Morning. Morning, Aka. Yeah, um, cold brew green tea. Mm. Decaffeinated green tea, actually. I raided um, my mother's stash of tea because I just wanted something because um, I was going to brew it pretty uh, with a decent concentration and I didn't want the caffeine. So I didn't do any of mine. Uh, so I, I grabbed a, uh, I stole, I stole some of her, uh, her decaf green tea, um, made a, made a green tea out, a cold brew out of it. So yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't need the, the extra caffeine. I don't, uh, yeah. Sun tea is good. Sun tea is good. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, this crazy, <clears throat> this crazy ass Texas shit. Texas just, just is like, we're swinging. We're swinging, bitch. Like stay out of our way. We're swinging. Um, oh no, Texas. You don't go to, you don't do sweet tea in Texas X all. No, 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 sweetheart. Um, sweet tea is Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina. Did I say Mississippi? Mississippi. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, Texas isn't, Texas isn't sweet tea. Bible Belt plus Carolinas. Yeah, basically. Dude, sweet tea is Georgia. I mean... Sweet tea, you mean liquid diabetes? It is. It is liquid diabetes. It is. It, it, it is entirely too sweet. Today, I wouldn't be able to drink it. I, I, I would take one sip of that and I'd be like, that's cloying. That's way too sweet. That's just entirely too much. Like, I, I, I today, I would just criticize it at a culinary and experiential level. I'd be like, that's entirely too much. Only somebody addicted to that would need that kind of concentration. That's just, it, culinarily speaking, it's too much. It is way too sweet. Um, that's why you got to cut it with lemon. That's why lemon is so common in sweet tea. It's because you got to cut it with lemon. You need to get some acid in there to just, you know, the sharpness of that acid to cut through. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, but yeah. Oh my God, that's what the lemon is there for. Gross. Yes, that's that's it's to make it drinkable. <laughs> it's 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 liquid sugar. It's liquid sugar. Yes, very much. Not by no, very much. Um, in fact, given the amount of sugar that they put into it, because it's done hot, so you can get a, a, a super concentration going. So what they do is they make the tea hot. Um, and then basically make a simple syrup. Do we got any bartenders or anybody who's ever worked bar back before in here? Um, it's basically simple syrup plus tea. Um, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It, they, they bring it up in temp. They dissolve as much sugar as they can into it. They bring it back down to, uh, to a colder temp. So it's still, uh, so, uh, so then, uh, it's a super saturation. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, they pump more sugar into it than you should be able to at a colder temperature. Yeah, it's 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 absurd. The stuff is liquid diabetes. It really is. Ah, uh, I just put a teaspoon of either clover or orange blossom honey in my decaf green tea fire. Yet yeah, you're a sane human being. Uh, at least in that regard. <laughs> Um, diabetes. <laughs> we'll send you your diabetes supplies right to your couch. Yeah. So a federal appeals court has reinstated a Texas law that bans censorship on social media, such so, uh, on social media platforms, so Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, um. So uh, they're allowing Texas to enforce the law while litigation continues. 
Um, so there was a prelim uh, injunction blocking the law um, by the first U.S. District Court judge, but it's got yanked now. Um, so basically, it's some weird shit. Like the state law says that a social media platform may not censor a user based on the user's viewpoint and define censor as block, ban, remove, deplatform, demonetize, deboost, restrict, deny equal access or visibility to or otherwise discriminate against said expression. The, the Texas Attorney General or users would be able to then sue social media platforms in state court that violate this ban and win injunctive relief and reimbursement of court costs, specifically in the law. Also, here's where it gets crazy. Um, I do believe... There's a clause in the law that doesn't allow them to leave the state either. Like they're they're almost demanding service. They're saying like you have to serve the state of Texas. And when you're serving the state of Texas, if you remove anybody's opinion for any reason, you're we will sue you. It's legal to do that here. I, I, this is, this is, this is weird as shit, but also could get interesting. <clears throat> All right. So, Aka, who the fuck knows? But there's precedent for this kind of thing. <clears throat> it's been done differently. <clears throat> but, This is sort of like the California clean air stuff. California sets a standard for uh, output of pollution, right? And says anything else is illegal in this state. And if you want access to 40 million potential customers, you have to comply. Right? You can shape an industry by doing that sort of thing. If you're a big enough state. California's got the biggest dick in the fucking room, right? They, they've proven that they can do this sort of thing. It's functionally market manipulation on the part of the state. I mean, it's what it is. Um, but, like, it, this, this sort of realm of thing has been done before. Where states sort of introduce rules for businesses and they can sort of end run it sometimes. And so like, I don't know how this is going to pan out in court. We'll see where this goes, dude. They've got the courts pretty well stacked at this point. Um, so you never know, but this would be interesting if somehow either Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, decide that the inability to not censor their stuff like if this is this looks like this is going to hold like this is literally going to be the 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 precedent that the, the courts will set they will shut off service in texas yeah yeah it's it's either allow global free-for-all or shut texas off That's an easy call to make. I don't think many of them, I don't think many of them will go custom version. I don't see that happening. A, a, a censorless version of Facebook, a censorless version of Twitter, a censorless version of YouTube. I don't think the corporations are willing to bear that responsibility. They would have to be indemnified. If they were indemnified for any content on their platform, they might do it then. You could, I can see a world where if in Texas, you want 
unfettered, non-censorable stuff. I could see some somebody potentially trying a gated version of their service. Wouldn't be all of them, but one of them might try a gated version. But they would need indemnified against anything. They're gonna they're gonna do a big ask. If you want this, we'll build it, but none of this is our legal responsibility. I could see that happening. Or somebody building one for them, bespoke. Building the Texas one. You know, and of course VPNs, yes, will do that as well. But either way, it there's a bunch of really interesting potential outcomes from this. The Great Wall of Texas. Exactly. Right? Like that's there's there's the Epcot of social media, basically, right? How will put Texas politicians tweet? Uh, well, they would probably uh, just their their offices in Washington D.C. and elsewhere would fucking they'd be, they're the ones doing the tweeting anyway any uh, now. So except for in the cases of the crazies, right? You, you you let your press team handle that most of the time. It's just the fucking idiots we hear about all the all the time that like I'm gonna fucking tweet myself. You're a senator. Put your fucking phone down, you dummy. But some of them do it. But yeah, no, it's 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 a it's an interesting thing. Uh, it's called HB twenty, and they're 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 debating the um, here's the uh, Texas legislature link a uh, legislature link for it. If anybody wants to look at it, um, like here's the the fucking history of this bill. Um, so yeah, it, it's it, 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 <clears throat> a social media platform may not censor a user based on the user's viewpoint. <clears throat> I mean that I just want, I want to, I just want to, I want to check something. A position or perspective from which something is considered. I, I that's just a dictionary definition. I just want to, viewpoint, just want to. I, Excel, um, the teeth in it right now or that you would, as the tech company or the provider, you would be sued in state court. Texas would drag you to Texas. If you operate, if you have a, anything, if you have any asset, they will serve that with whatever they need to, right? They, with a summons. Um, you will get sued in a Texas state court. That's, that's how, what will happen. I, the, yeah, tech support. I, with the, the section two, um, yeah, with like the section two stuff, that's, it's gonna, it's gonna get weird. The party is small government, y'all. Yes. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> it's just another word. Fucking add it to the list of the hypocrisy. It's amazing. It's absolutely stunning. These fucking jackasses time and again. Fucking it's just and people gotta fucking a hey, dude. We're for small government, really. So you would never go after a massive, beloved uh, American icon that produces family films, right? Yeah. As soon as they dis as soon as they say something we disagree with, you better goddamn believe we will fucking attack them. Mm, it's interesting. Going after private fucking industry. You're just going after business. You know those Republicans. They're they're anti-business. Nah. Wouldn't that be brilliant if we just all sort of agreed to start calling Republicans communists? 
just with no explanation. Just don't tell them what's going on. Just be like, it's fucking commies. Wait, wait what? Wh who are you talking about? You! Fucking communists. You just constantly, I thought this was America. You commie ass up in here. Oh, it'd be great. Let's just, just start calling Republicans communists. You're fucking brilliant. These morons won't even know what's going on. Oh, and the tankies will be fucking furious. Furious. Uh, <laughs> bonus. What about the demon rats? The demon rats we've already known have been in collusion with China this whole time. But you're fucking commie ass up in here. You've been collaborating with fucking Russia. And now we find out you're attacking wholesome American business like Disney? Oh, fuck you, you fucking commie trader sellout. Yeah. Just fucking turn it around every time. <laughs> It's time. I think it's time. I think we fucking start fucking with these idiots, both sides, sing simultaneously. Let's start recalling Republicans commies. Specifically, not even communists. Like, you use the communists occasionally, but commies. That's that's the American thing. Start calling them commies. Um, let's see. Also, Texas has teeth in this in another way. Facebook and others have massive, expensive data centers in Texas. Is Facebook just finishing $1.5 billion place? <laughs> yeah, so you're locked in. Your, your assets are there. Although, I mean, they could. They could walk away from it. They could they could turn it. They could turn it. Feels like we're throwing the ANCOMs under the bus. Uh, they should they should know better by now. They're anarchists first. The com the reason they're chasing the communism is through uh, the method by which they're chasing that communism is through anarchism. So if they if they get if they get riled up, they'll be fine. Just, just be like, remember, you're anarchists. Um, <clears throat> tack filthy on that commie. It'll help. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They just want, like, you know, they want communalist aspects. They're just confused, that's all. Uh, <laughs> oh. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. I wanted to watch this. This is great. Hold on. I think you guys all have fun with this. All right. So this is candidate Ryan D. Kelly for, um, for Michigan governor. Um, okay. So Ryan D. Kelly running for governor of Michigan. Uh, let's see. I'll probably have to boost this volume. So we'll do this. We talk about Marxism and capitalism in relation to socialism. It starts with democracy. Here we go. We talk about Marxism and communism in relation to socialism. It starts with democracy. That's the that's the ticket for the left. They want to push this idea of democracy, which turns into socialism, which turns into communism in every instance. My friends, we are a constitutional republic. We need to be proud and loud about that. If we allow the left, and even some people you see on Fox News and even Republicans say, we have to protect our democracy. That is absolutely incorrect. Constitutional republic. It needs to be in our education system and all the things that we do around us because we truly are losing our country to the radical left. Woo! So, yeah. Yeah. Ryan Kelly, candidate for governor of Michigan, everyone. Oh, I know, right, Amaris? Exol, I don't, at this point, I don't write anybody out at any percentage. Donald Trump was seen as an outsider who was mocked by all of the Republican establishment. Bam, that happened. Marjorie Taylor Greene 
is a fucking nutcase who thinks like the Jews control space lasers that they're using to light California on fire. She's a congressperson. I these motherfuckers start with like one percent support, and then all of a sudden you notice they're elected. I don't run anything off. I've been around the block too many times now. It, you would could he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, in this country, in this timeline, yeah. He could be elected. Will he? I don't know. But I'm just going to put it out there that this motherfucker is a candidate for fucking governor of Michigan. <laughs> and he's saying some stuff that people should listen to. Republicans expecting the IRA to be their peers. <laughs> Translation, we want an upper class of landowning patricians uh, to rule over the plebs. Of course, Fertuz, of course. Europeans here. I love that the European like that is literally the translation for two like the Europeans are like, uh yeah, you know what that is, right? <laughs> oh god, y'all y'all just have to learn more shit. Y'all just have to learn more shit. We coast on our like, you know, fucking two hundred odd years of fucking history. Like, you know, and some other shit happened other places. Meanwhile, you guys are stuck with like a proper history. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, Republicans, uh, yeah, expecting the IRA to be their peers. I I love saying that to somebody, too. Like, Republicans. No, like, real Republicans, not our Republicans. Like, you know, actual Republicans. Like, not this thing. Uh, how do you explain all those forest fires if not space lasers? I know, right? It's the, it's the simplest thing. This is just Occam's razor, people. Jew-controlled space lasers is the simplest explanation as to why there are out-of-control wildfires in California and across the Southwest. I mean, that's just, like, that's just science. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what you people are complaining about. This woman clearly deserves a Nobel Peace Prize for un, uncovering, finally, the, 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 the linchpin piece of evidence to, to prove... That, in fact, the globalists have been behind it all this entire time. <laughs> uh, like the Irish? Yes, Caboose. Yes. Uh. Occam's razor needs sharpening. What's the alternative? That man can change God climate? That seems implausible. Um, but if it wasn't lasers, how do you explain why this building wasn't burnt down, but this one was? Exactly. See? Science. Talking of the Irish, did you hear what happened in the recent Irish elections? No, I don't believe I did, non-binary. No, I don't believe I did. Um... Oh, yeah, we don't even... Yeah, we don't even get that for juice. <laughs> we don't even get that. Uh... Okay, so, Caleb, I understand the Sinn Féin cleaned house. Everything prior to that is just some Irish shit that I do not... It means nothing to me. But I, I, I can contextually, I'm like, okay, Irish reunification. Sinn Féin are the largest party in the Northern Irish Assembly for the first time. Okay, thank you, Che. <laughs> Irish reunification 2024. Um, means our day will come. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, Che, they did that so so many places, not just Africa. Uh, I 
Oh, uh. Yeah. Somebody want to give me a, a phonetic pronunciation of whatever the fuck that is? Because it seems cool. But, like, all that Celtic, Gaelic, Irish, Scottish stuff is just... Sometimes it doesn't even... I can't sight read it. Chucky Arla. Holy shit. Chucky. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting crossed. Now I'm getting tookier. Not Chucky. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I know. Aka, like shit like Siobhan. Yeah, like Ash Ashling, Siobhan. Like, you know, it's A-I-S-L-I-N-G and stuff like that. Gay guy who can't gay lick. Yes. But I'm bump. You know what? I'll give it to you. It was solid. Uh, <laughs> fucking hey. It's Trump's fault the guess is too bad. Uh, yeah. So, all right. Either way. So, what is, okay, so you're saying that reunification is uh, possible. So, like Sinn Féin taking the Northern, uh, Northern Iron, uh, Ireland Assembly. Who did they, so they would have beat out, what's the party? Because it would have to be, like, Protestant aligned, right? Like, what would the, what was holding them back? I mean, other than pure numbers, but, like... Who, who, what was the opposition of, of Sinn Féin all these years? Because I know about Sinn Féin. It was, I mean, it's essentially the political party of the IRA. Um, the D, hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> a boss I had a crick in my neck but yes they are unionist and loyalist yes okay yep okay so who got there first fucking Bo good job um Sinn Féin is the party, and the reason that one is DUP are flailing and losing support more than Sinn Féin are gaining it. Interesting. Um, what's up, Joe? Hey, nice. Good on ya. Um, apparently when the borders... Uh, oh, interesting. So there's just some gerrymandering going on there, too, preventing Sinn Féin from actually achieving as well. DUP oppose abortion. They were headed by Ariane Foster and for many, many years because the Ariane Foster, that area of the UK, didn't have access to gay marriage or abortion rights or anything else similar, extremely conservative. So, wait, is the DUP more conservative than Sinn Féin? Because, I mean, we're talking about, by my standards, a fairly conservative region. Um, but are the DUP actually, like, way more fucking conservative than Sinn Féin and like is Sinn Féin like kind of progressive weirdly progressive and I didn't know about it like somebody want to hook a brother up with that revelation um basically DUP's fuck up around Brexit has led most of their votes to more centrist parties interesting um Sinn Féin is pro-gay and pro-abortion I wouldn't have seen that coming I wouldn't have seen that coming. That's interesting. That's interesting. They're kind of playing for keeps, huh? That's interesting. Hmm. That's... I wouldn't have seen that coming. Sinn Féin being pro-gay, pro... Uh, uh, fucking pro-gay, pro-abortion. Hmm. All right. Yeah, see, that's that's what I'm thinking, Caleb. They're pro whatever gets them votes, right? Like that's this is a move, which I respect. Like they're doing what it takes to get the job done. All right. Yeah, I respect that. I get it. They've got a goal. They're pursuing it. 
by any means necessary. They've proven that. What's considered conservative by your standard? Adhering to a uh, cultural normative set that is from a predated era of... <sighs> anything further back than 30 years, probably. But basically, it's a hallm the hallmark and critique therein is that what is considered conservative is the person who is anti-progress. How we define that progress, it may become a sticking point. But I think humanity should be moving forward, not staying still. And I think that more freedoms, more liberties, more human rights, more humane, fair, equitable treatment of human beings on a planetary scale is a good measure. It's a good standard by which we can measure pr cultural and societal progress. And if you do something that takes a step away from that direction with the intent of staying still rather than moving forward with the rest of us, then I consider you conservative. You are attempting to maintain a status quo of a bygone era. LDR explains the rise of Sinn Féin. Uh, Sinn Féin. All right. I'll take that. It's 10 minutes, but I'll keep it. <sighs> there we go. I don't think anything because you haven't given me enough information to think about it. What, what do you mean by them? What's the axis measuring? Because up and down doesn't tell me anything. And frankly, neither does wing. So tell me what you mean. Explain your idea, Chew Toy. Um, why do people advocate for policies that are proven to be harmful? Because people are stupid animals. We're dumb, panicky, manipulable, manipulating animals. That's it. We're really good at building shiny shit, though. We're really good at building shiny shit. Yeah, but, you know, humanity, we are dumb, panicky, manipulatable animals. Just the way it is. And then there's a bunch of psychopaths walking around. Uh, Sinn Féin says trans rights are human rights and wins the North for a unified Ireland. Parliament should take note. Jesus Christ, Sinn Féin said trans rights are human rights. I love it. I love it. Take advantage of it. Do they need the votes and they do it? They're fucking, they're like, look, we will extend a handshake to anybody who wants to take our hand. Shake their hand. You don't have any other allies? Them some allies. Fair enough. By this, I mean a sense of, er, pro uh, of uh, progress uh, re-technology. Right, hang on. All right. Uh, Retechnology, politics, and so forth. Rather than staying put or regressing, I know it seems like far left, uh, but uh, I mean, chew toy, it's just another axis. Um, that's why there's like nine and 10 and 12 axes. You're measuring an axis. So what you're, which you actually are measuring the progressive axis already in like the eight forward um, axis tests. If you go take my test on my website, um, I have a, a, a progressive versus conservative um, for like technological development. Um, so there are some that take that into account, but that's, yeah, you're just, that's, that's a measurement of progressivism, re-technology, or however you uh, measure it. Thoughts on pro-choice people aborting babies we could use for satanic rituals. Now that is a valid point, actually. I mean, you do bring up a quandary in it all, right? Because per page, what, um, 34 and footnote 46 of Alito's draft decision, uh, draft opinion, we can see that they're concerned about the supply and demand, the macroeconomics of babies in this country. And if there is a market demand to be met, then I think the wise free market decision to that one should engage in 
is, you know, as laissez-faire as possible. So if there's a market demand in existence, why uh, outlaw something and create a black market? We should recognize and legitimize that market segment demand and fulfill it using the most, you know, um, reliable and uh, profitable, of course, um, means and that we have available to ourselves. And so I, I think that that is a, I think it is a valuable thing, uh, point that you've brought up. And I, I would like to see somebody at like the fed level, start discussing these nuances that, you know, seem to be that they're, they're not listening to their, their constituents. The politicians are ignoring your, uh, their voices. Yes. So yeah, I, I, I wish you luck. And, um, yeah, this is definitely <laughs> a solid bit, a solid bit. Um, <clears throat> mm, interesting, Che. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, link above. Ah. Oh, shit. Alright. Damn. Alright, non-binary. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's not a picture I thought I'd see. Alright. Let's see. Do I think leftists and progressive are interchangeable words? Not at all. No, they're they're not at all interchangeable words. They're not they're, they're not synonyms. <laughs> leftists do have a tendency to be progressive, but that's only the non-authoritarian leftists. Um, the once you end up on, uh, heading up the uh, the axis of authoritarianism, they get super social conservative really quickly. Um, so they're very much not progressivists. So no, no, those words are not at all interchangeable. <sighs> Aren't aborted babies more valuable in satanic rituals than born ones? I am. I don't know, but there seems to be a market demand for the born ones. So, you know, what are you going to do? I'm not, not an expert, but maybe ask uh, satanic Yama Plaza. Oh, apparently, yeah, it has stuff with it. You got to sacrifice it. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're, 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 I mean, they're fighting against the flow of their own system, which is, you know, goofy. But, yeah, they're progressive capitalists. Mm hmm. For sure, especially depending on how you define progressivism. Um, oh, that's gotta, that's gotta go. <sighs> yeah. Swimming against the flow of society doesn't make you ripped, unfortunately. Sorry. Oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, Haz was molding again. Yeah, yeah, they believe capitalism can get us to those progressivist points, which is stupid. It's 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 ill-fated and dumb and short-sighted and ignorant. But you know, tilting at windmills is a thing human beings have been doing before we had windmills. It's one of our pastimes. 
I wanted you all to see this. <clears throat> Speaking of capitalism, and it's tilting at windmills. This is the $490 Gucci printed swimsuit. I'm just going to go ahead and point you uh, to this section right here where it says they advise to get the best from this item. We advise you not to wear it to swim. This is a $490 swimsuit that you can't swim in. Yeah. Mm. I I love capitalism. It's just you know it gives us all of the, our 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 just base needs, our necessities, and then gives us all sorts of things that are so necessary to the furthering of our you know spiritual existence as a species, such as swimsuits that cost five hundred dollars and you can't swim in. Capitalism drives innovation. Oh, yeah. I think I saw this one. Yes, I saw these. I saw these. These are fucking ridiculous. Fucking eight, $1,800. Fuck $1,900. Fucking... Shoes that are destroyed already. Fucking. <laughs> You're the dumbest. You're the dumbest. Goddamn fucking. Oh. Fuck, we are stupid. Um. There we go. Don't want to lose that Sinn Fein thing. Um. Every time I hear tilting at windmills, I'm reminded of this hilarious right-wing political cartoons who clearly don't understand what tilting at windmills meant and kept comparing their preferred candidate to Don Quixote. <laughs> uh, it's, isn't it like, it's supposed to be like Quixote or something like that, right? Like, in the, in the native tongue of the region... Like I've I've heard before that we're like uh, the the like native English speakers tend to pronounce Quixote incorrectly. It's like Quixote or something like that. Um, congratulations, non-binary. Yeah, that's 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 the the incorrect pronunciation, caboose. <laughs> that's, that's the one we got. Uh, it's Don Quixote, obviously. This chew toy. He said it with confidence. They said it with confidence. They said it with confidence. I mean, you can't. It's clearly Donkey Odie. That's that's what it is, man. That's what it is. Uh so. Oh yeah. This is crazy. I copy the image rather than the address. I did. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw Anita. You had some question up here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I zoomed by it because I was in the middle of something. Um. Sworn. Where was it? There it is. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I've seen some leftists condemn progressives. You find this problematic? I mean, I find existence problematic, but we're not big fans of problematic around it. We sort of sarcastically say problematic around this community. Um, What would you define in that context, Anita? When I say, when you say, I've seen some leftists condemn progressives. Can you define leftist for me? Because we we've already clarified what at least shared definition for progressivism or progressive, you know, where we're working from. Can you give me what you mean by leftist? Please and thank you. Um. Uh, 
Alright. Oh, yeah. Anyway, back to what I was doing. These are... These are the... Uh, this is a heat map of phones connected to the Russian mobile phone network. This is, this is recent, as in 21 hours ago. No, they blew up all the stuff they needed for their, like a proper OPSEC run. As far as um, uh, SIGINT goes, um, AKA signals intelligence, everyone. Uh, as far as SIGINT goes, um, Russia did the like literal backward opposite of what they, was necessary for to provide pr what would have been proper operational security procedures. They went and blew up all of the towers uh, that would have been able to provide the secure network that they would have they could have built. Um, instead, they blew all those up. Um, so they then relied on open uh, open communications and. Their OPSEC is so bad at the troop level that the troops are allowed to have cell phones, apparently. Like, in mass, They're just... Nobody's taking their cell phones from them. So we can just sort of track Russian-connected mobiles. Here's a heat map. This was taken. Um, this was taken right before the surge. In I will get you a name. I will get you a name. Kharkiv? Kharkiv. I believe that's Kharkiv. Whatever the fucking pronunciation of that one is. Um, that was the the successful counter-offensive. Um, and that, uh, that was the one that pushed them back to the border. That's at least what's being reported. Um... So yeah, there there was literally a an, a, a counteroffensive going on in that location. So there you go. People feared that army. People feared that army. People feared that army. Like. It's a joke. It's a joke now. <laughs> yes, that is Kharkiv, or but however we fucking say that name. You know what? You're looking at how to stay tuned to the channel. Now in English, this is often referred to as Kharkiv, Kharkiv, but in Ukrainian, this is said as Kharkiv, Kharkiv. Kharkiv, Kharkiv. Okay. Kharkiv. Too late, cat. You weren't there for me. I turned to some weirdo on YouTube. See what you did? Um... <laughs> Man, historical context makes all those video games where Russia was a villain look hilarious now. Uh, yeah, so that's what that heat map was. That was the counteroffensive that was occurring in uh, Kharkiv. Kharkiv. 
Um, fucking, um, and yeah, this is, this is all of the Russian soldiers' fucking cell phones. That Russia is so goddamn bad at this. But you can see, like, you know, here's 167 connected over here. Here's 37 connected over here. Here's 25 connected over here. It's fucking, um... So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not a predictor like that, um, Caleb, but yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, they'll be dropping on you guys. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> we just sit on our little island over here. We're so far away from every war. It's just foreign to us. War doesn't come to our shores. We're all the way the fuck over here, protected by the world's most insane navy. Like. <laughs> yeah, like this shit's real for y'all. I and mean, this is like right over there. You guys can, some of you motherfuckers could drive to this shit, right? Like this is just like, you know, or take a train. Um, <laughs> Putin's top general captured, colorized 2020. <laughs> You know, as you do, as you do. Um, yeah, literally a kilometer away from a train to uh, Tetraspol. Um, uh, I can train it since I'm like, yeah, this is like for reals for you guys. Like, we, dude, Americans, we're isolated from anything. So, yeah, for us, it's all theoretical. But you guys, it's it's for real. Like, this crazy fucker may drop some dukes somewhere over here. Oh, fuck me. Well, I hope all those fucking old-ass houses. <laughs> he looked like a walrus laying out on the ice. He was very comparable to a walrus weighing, uh, laying out on the ice. So the comparison is apt. Um, going further than West Ukraine would be hard, though, probably on a bike. Mm -hmm. It sounded like one, too. Yeah, it was an apt comparison. So um, Apparently, we have some free Internet program for like 48 million Americans that the Biden administration is doing while they're, you know, supposed to be doing other things. You know, while the foundations of our entire country are eroded out from under our feet and all of the uh, important things that we've built in the last 60, 70, 80 years are just just taken right out of our fucking hands by our face. The Biden administration has announced it, uh, that 20 Internet companies have agreed to provide discounted service to low income Americans. Uh, a program that could effectively make tens of millions of households eligible for free service through an already existing federal subsidy. Now, while we're talking about this, let's just go ahead and remember that um, the $400 billion broad, uh, dollar broadband scandal that uh, we paid out $400 billion to Verizon, AT&T, and CenturyLink uh, to install a, uh, a fiber, a future proofed fiber optic network that would have connected, uh, and a last mile rural internet service with fiber optic internet. And we got literally none of it, not a single foot. We got nothing. Nothing was ever delivered. We, 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 uh, <clears throat> yes. We paid $400 billion to three telecommunications companies for a project that just was nothing. They 
didn't ever build any of that. So when I'm told that the administration of this this government has reached a deal with telecommunications companies uh, in the form of a, uh, a discounted service, that means it will receive government subsidies. It is a uh, <clears throat> $14.2 billion funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program, which will provide $30 monthly subsidy on internet service. Americans, are you laughing? $30 monthly subsidy for internet is... Our internet is not cheap. Let's just put it that way. Like most of the things that you need in this country, the price is stupid. Um, so with the new commitment from the internet providers, some 48 million households will be eligible for the uh, $30 monthly plans. Uh, yeah. Internet service to be fully paid for with the government subsidy if they sign up with one of the providers participating in the program. So you have to also have a participating provider in your area. Um, yes, they are providing double, uh, well, not double, but $75 in tribal areas because, well, frankly, Internet's even more expensive out there because nobody runs it out there. Um, okay, can we get some fucking health care, though? Suck. Yeah, I know, right? Or, you know, bodily autonomy. If you're not, if you're not going to give, if you're not going to fucking use some of these like ungodly amounts of, uh, funds that this country generates, um, for, I don't know us, then can you at least get off my dick and get out of her uterus or their uterus? Sorry. Get out of their uterus. Like call me. You're, you're doing a shitty internet program that maybe has the lowest internet tier price. Like you're still, it's not even, it's not, it won't be free. It won't be free. You're still going to end up, they're still going to end up with a fucking internet bill every month. It's just, it's not even, it, there's no point to it. There's no point to it. We paid $400 billion dollars to expand the base internet network to fiber optic of this country, to rural locations. Nothing. Like, even if you do pay these corporations to do this work, they don't do the work. That's why I think we could, we could allocate fucking $500 billion to healthcare, but if we still let these psychopath fucking corporations administer the healthcare, dude, we're not going to get any healthcare. You know that, right? Like that's dude, United healthcare will just take their cut of the $500 billion and just fucking keep denying people chemotherapy and fucking HIV meds and insulin and whatever else. Yeah. We, <laughs> there's no, uh, of course the goal is to bump their investments, stock and index funds. Yeah. You see that fucking Twitter bot? There's, um, see if I have it. I think that'll get me to it. There it is. Yes. Somebody did a data set. Like they did a, a, a track of this and projected outcomes uh, over uh, like a history of it. It consistently outperforms the market average. It consistently outperforms. If you invested based off of that Twitter bots investments, like if you if you did your investment portfolio based off of the movings of the congressional stock, you will consistently outperform the rest of the market. Congress, like every single one of those trades basically is evidence of market manipulation and insider trading. Yeah, like that entire class of politicians is just constantly engaged in it. 
Hey, what's up, name? <laughs> oh. Let's see. We're back up there. For what? How is that measured, Amaris? Because like our unlimited, like we have data caps and stuff. So I'd be interested in how that me gets measured. Um. <clears throat> so North Korea. Um, it. Uh, I don't know if it's wicked expensive, but I know it's wicked fast. Um. Toy. Toy. I just screamed zeros and ones through a paper cup on a string to get my level. Uh, on my level. Um, so North Korea has admitted to their first COVID outbreak. Um, they've declared it a severe national emergency. They don't have, like, shit for vaccines. Um, they they confirmed it's... Uh, it, it, the media is reporting that it's probably a sub-variant of, of Omicron known as BA2. Um, that's what had been detected in the capital of Pyongyang. Um, but yeah, um, they've refused all vaccines from outside and are not known to have developed any of them themselves. So 25 million people, no vaccines, no immunity, and probably poor nutrition. China might give them some of the, was it Sinovac or some shit like that? Um, but they refused the, um, they refused the vaccines from China. Like that's, they, they refused all vaccines. Um, so we'll see, um, we'll see where that goes. But yeah, North Korea is actually confirming that there is an outbreak of COVID. So it was bound to happen eventually. Even even that fucking hermit kingdom can't do it. Yeah, except Che, they let people in. They let tourists and business people in, and they've got the slave trade. So, I, honestly, I have no idea what the rationale is behind refusing the vaccines. It's fucking North Korea, man. Let's see. Why did North Korea <laughs> refuse vaccines? Let's find out together. Uh, <sighs> yeah, you're probably not going to like the answer. I mean, you're probably, look, I mean, the answer is not, the answer I can give you is not going to be satisfying. Basically, Akka. Basically. Akka's kind of got it. If you follow Juche hard enough, you have immunity. It's close enough. Basically, what he has ordered his uh, officials, he, he has stated that the uh, to not concern themselves with it as the officials in the North Korean state are going to wage a tougher epidemic prevention campaign in our style. That was his statement to basically to the UN after he turned down the foreign COVID-19 vaccines. It was Thursday. Uh, last like fucking yeah whatever a few months ago um yeah There's a few there's a few speculative reasons. There's a few speculative reasons. Um so they're going to do with pizzazz. Um my way. anyway. Um yeah, there's a few speculative reasons. Um apparently the vaccines are always given with reporting requirements. 
Um, so, like, even the Chinese one, apparently. Um, so, North Korea is, like, Mm, total control of information sort of situation, right? So they, they don't like people knowing things. I would just say they'd fudge the numbers if that were the case. Um, there's also some, like, quote, observers with knowledge of the North Korean public health bureaucracy. Um, and apparently there might be like vaccine snobbery going on is because they didn't get offered the MRNA technology. Um, don't know. So there's, you know, we don't know. You don't know. The long and short of it is we don't know, but there's, you know, yes, it's gonna, it's gonna be a thing gonna be a thing morning Alex the Republicans the Republicans have been criticizing Biden for not starving undocumented immigrant babies to death. I'm not shitting you. Texas governor, the, the, the usual, the usual suspects, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Ga Greg Abbott, fucking Florida's representative, fucking, yeah. <laughs> it's, they, they just, it's the regular bunch making the rounds talking shit about how the, the the they're sending pallets of baby formula for illegal mothers and their babies while American mothers and babies can't find baby formula. That baby formula should go to Americans before illegals. This should not have to be said. Um, fucking, that was both Marjorie Taylor Greene and uh, Representative Troy Nels from Texas as well. Um... Conservatives have empathy challenge 2022 impossible. Yeah. Um, look, we're pro life except those other people, which is basically everybody we don't like. And that kind of depends on which leader tell what the leader tells us. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Suddenly, now suddenly they give a shit about fucking, uh, it's fucking, you know. Insert conservative hypocrisy rant here. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to start shorthanding some of this stuff. Oh, but what about the babies? The babies, the babies, the babies. What about the babies? Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. GOP, the baby-loving party. A statement both correct and inc and false at the same time. I, I want to change it to incorrect. But GO just did true and false or correct and incorrect. I want it true and false, simpler. GOP, the baby-loving party. A statement both true and false at the same time. I would go false and true. Or incorrect and correct. Yes. I like that. I'm fucking, I'm literally doing a writer's workshop on that one fucking line. It's fucking give me a name. Fuck it. Put in. Uh, yeah. False and true. Yeah. GOP, the baby loving party. A statement both false and true at the same time. Yeah, that works. Um... They're not pre-born babies, so they don't care. Exactly. Once you once you take them out of the packaging, they're not interested in them. The bibble, the bibble, the bibble says about the babies. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I still love that guy talking about how democracy inevitably leads to communism. He's great. He's great. Oh, Manchin. Joe Manchin. You know West Virginia is like an utter shithole, right? 
first first in opioid use, first in deaths per capita, second in obesity, sixth in poverty, 45th in education, 50th in vaccination, 50th in infrastructure. And we fucking hit, yeah, like West Virginia is a shithole. <laughs> Like, real, true, and proper. Like, it's a fucked up place. Uh, Jesus Christ. G g give me a name. You, you gave us the, the framework. You did well. Especially in a third language. Jackass. <laughs> Bet they're in the top ten of Black Lung, though. Bet they're in the fucking first ten. First. Just the first. They're just first. Um, I have a theory. What if they all have like heavily pregnant impregnables fetish havers? Like what if what if that's all this is about? Oh, they have a pregnancy fetish? All of the GOP have like all of these like evangelicals have a preggers fetish. Alright. I'm behind it. Also, uh Alex, we agreed we're gonna call our Republicans um commies. Yeah, for for everybody else, just for everybody who wasn't here. Um we we agreed we're just gonna start calling the Republicans commies. Because they're using uh, government to like attack private, like private businesses and stuff. So you know, yeah, <laughs> I'm kink shaming. <laughs> yeah, so Republicans are commies now, fucking f filthy pinko uh, commies. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, has is at it again. He's a, it has his manic again. Uh, dude, I, I, Alex, I fucking straight up was talking about that earlier. Fuck like when I have to talk to somebody and it's like, no real Republicans, not that, uh, you know, when we're talking about like, you know, fucking, <laughs> fucking Ireland where, yeah, we're like, which we were talking about Sinn Féin by the way earlier. Um, but yes, um, yeah, has his manic again. He's, he's, he's swung. He, you can tell he's having a manic episode. You, we are the correct Republicans. <laughs> uh, he's having like delusions of grandeur and like uh, paranoid thinking. I mean, Amaris, he's never fine. The guy's fucking tilted. He's unhinged, but he has manic episodes and you can, tr you can sort of track him. Like you, you can sort of watch from the outside and be like, yeah, he's having a manic episode. Um, he went on some fucking like, oh yeah, like straight up delusions of grandeur, paranoid thinking, conspiratorial thinking, anti-infrared hysteria has the same exact structure and form of anti-communist reaction in history is a type of lumpenized ideological psychosis, melting all ideological differences for the sake of trying to repress an authenticity novel event. Uh, an, authentic, uh, an authentically novel event. The knee-jerk seething and hatred. Remember, he's talking about himself. Is the knee-jerk knee seething and hatred has a criminal nihilistic character that unites liberals, neo-Nazis, radical leftists, including MLs and Maoists and others. They all acknowledge the need to destroy infrared before even grounding the pretense to an ideological position. It is basically the shameless class solidarity of the lumpenized petty bourgeois working in tandem with literal feds. The mercenaries who worked for the CIA and Pentagon had the same character in the Cold War, a bunch of criminal anti-human lumpen scum. He loves the lumpen. Anti-infrared hysteria is black shirt reactionism, completely irrational, nihilistic, and unapologetically unprincipled. This is what reactionaries in history were like. <laughs> Damn it, who got more on Mark's a thesaurus? <laughs> Seems like a great candidate as your future president. Oh... Uh... Remember when the Republican Party wasn't totally fucking nuts? Abe Lincoln remembers. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he's on a he's on a manic swing. You can always tell. You can always tell. So your new drag name, Petty Bourgeois. Welcome to the stage, Petty Bourgeois. 
uh, has seems to see um, specters. Has is seeing spooks around every corner now. He's 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 seeing enemies everywhere. In all camps, they're all coming for him. They're all against him. Yeah, told you. Full blown paranoid thinking. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, yes, the classic Stalin response. <laughs> he is a Stalinist. He counts himself as a Stalinist. So, you know, do they glow in the dark yet? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, they will soon, probably. It is. It is the classic Stalin response, though. You're right. He's following in his footsteps. Now, now, now. Does he have any Jews in his community he can sacrifice and start banning? He needs to start like purging like the the Jewish intelligentsia in his community. That would be brilliant if he has if he has some like old school like members of his old school. But if he has some old school communities of members of his community that are, that are Jewish, and he like blocked them, <laughs> that'd be great. I need him to do that. That I, I just I need it all to line up. Uh, has is an egoist now, more like a type one bipolar anti medicated. <clears throat> Can't criticize, uh, criticize me if they're dead. Exactly, exactly. Oh, has I wish you'd get help, man. I wish you'd get help, man. But. You don't believe in help. He literally doesn't believe in it. Patty Bourgeois get some real tight lacing bonuses and big skirts and French wigs. Nice. For Tuse, I imagine has his death not in a palace, but in his dinky apartment. Found a week after passing away, brown bags of Uber Eats orders and ripped open Amazon boxes scattered around his bed. Oh. Get help, has. Get help. Caleb, I don't believe in has. Checkmate. Ah. Oh. I, I hope he is an op. Like, if he's an op, that means he's just, you know, fucking working for the team, right? If, it's, if he's for real, then it's like, dude, that's just a sick dude who needs help. It's just a sick dude that needs help. Apparently, North Korea is already up to 350,000 people with that. Yeah, they're already up to 350,000. Apparently, about half-ish of those have reportedly recovered. But they reported 18,000 people with a fever on, on Thursday. Just one day's increase, 18,000. It's only a population of 25.8 million. So, yeah. They're not admitting to barely any deaths. They're, the, they'll admit that six, with six individuals with fever symptoms have died. They'll admit to six. Probably some dissidents that needed taking out. Um, <clears throat> so Shanghai has 26 million residents. And it's only had 56,000 symptomatic cases since March. 
and 10 times more cases without symptoms. Yeah, they're going to set some records. They're going to set some records. Juche COVID speed run. Gas, gas, gas. What? <clears throat> 350,000 non-believers in Juche in the People's Republic. I wish I didn't have to <laughs> joke to make this stink less. Oh, uh, this is poor people fucked. They are. They're fucked. They can't die of COVID if they're purged first. Uh, how long until North Korea is no longer capable of functioning? Uh, about 30 years ago. Anyway. North Korea is so deeply infuriating. The stuff happening in Sri Lanka right now is, as well, perhaps less so, but still. Korean and Irish joint unification 2024, let's go. Dude, that would be a fucking trip and a half. Imagine living through that shit. The US is just, the US is balkanizing and fucking Ireland and Korea reunify. That'd be a trip and a half. Oh, data, the Star Trek father. Um, <laughs> Tuto, <laughs> functioning isn't necessary to main maintain an autocracy. Uh, see millennia of history of functional functionally totalitarian dictatorships. Uh, do you think Nevada is going to join with the state of Cascadia? I don't know where Nevada will go. Nevada's a catch, but Nevada's also a pain in the ass. So, like, you'd have to know what you're getting into um, to, like, team up with Nevada. Because um, we're not going to... We're not going to cede any ground. We, you know, yeah... Nevada's going to be in Capistan. I mean, yeah. I could see Nevada trying to make a play for its own. I could. Yeah. Nevada will be the Switzerland. Yeah. No, like, I could see Nevada making a play for its own. That it's like, yeah, we're sovereign. What? Don't you want to join our, our regional cohort? No. No, we don't. We will we'll get into all sorts of economic treaties with you. We'll, we will, you know, but I could easily see us. Nope, we're doing this. Um, see, I've seen I've seen a few balkanization maps before. Um, you also have to consider that, like Nevada is, Nevada has some very high uh, value federal assets on it, like. I mean, Groom Lake. Our, like, next, next, next generation testing happens here. Like, we got secret shit here. Well, first, I just want to do this, just to see what it is. Uh, and then we'll, what we'll do is this. March 19th, 2021. It's actually a fucking slightly old uh, old account. Now let's see if they're still here. Okay, cool. Um, and then they were... Okay. We'll see if they're all right. Uh, to be Switzerland, you need a no natural resources. We actually do have a fair amount. B be a pain in the ass to invade. That actually is true. We're absolute pain in the ass to invade. Um, eh, it's coming, Karina. Um. So 
some interesting balkanization maps. I don't know whether they're jokes or not, but like just this is, you know, fuck it. Ah. Uh, this. New Quebec. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, I really do feel like Nevada would probably give it a try. It feels right. Who lives in the region, dick region of the first map? Um, the Confederate States of America. Uh, oh, uh, Florida under joint ownership by Cuban and uh, Cuba and Albania. Uh, congratulations, Viva! You may be inheriting uh, part of Florida. Yeah, Arizona wouldn't do it. Yeah. Arizona wouldn't go with New Mexico now either. New Mexico is way too progressive. Arizona. Arizona could be convinced to join up with Nevada. There is a relationship between the two states already. Um, that, that does exist. So, we'll see. Cuba probably wouldn't want to touch Florida. Ah, uh, those all those ex-Cubans there would fucking murder a motherfucker if uh, you, you gave joint control of uh, Florida to Cuba and anybody else. New Mexico and Colorado would get along, yeah. Um, Arizona Utah alliance would work as well, yeah. Uh, we we don't get along with Utah. We we have a working relationship, but at the end of the day, we don't get along with Utah. Our policies don't align. There's plenty of them here, though. They might go home. Yeah. Be interesting to see a Mormon flight from Nevada. Uh, you forgot the snowbirds. Taboos. Arizona is Nevada with saguaro cactuses and snowbirds. Yes, the holy Mormon states. They probably name it something like that, too. They, that or they'd go for, like, Zion or some shit. Yeah. That one. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me she's being charged with the fucking attack on the, the, please, please tell me, please tell me. Oh, All right. Oh, shit. All right. I'm just reading, I'm just going over an article about that off duty officer. Remember the video that made the rounds uh, a couple weeks ago? Um, few, a couple months ago, March, of the um, the fucking cop in the lunchroom. The two girls get into a fight. Two 12-year-old girls get into a fight, and he fucking pins her down and puts his knee right on the back of this 12-year-old girl's neck. Um, <laughs> they charged the girl. Uh, not with... Not with what I would want. Like, if... The, to, 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 like, it just improve the absolute psycho uh, psychosis of this episode um, not with like assaulting the officer yeah that's that's what I was hoping I'm like please tell me they, they threw a fucking like assaulting an officer charge at this chick because that would be hilarious that's that's exactly what I would expect from our bullshit system like yeah he pinned her to the a 12 year old girl to the ground with his like a knee to her neck and they fucking charged her with assaulting his kneecap or some shit like that right no, no, it's not that, but it is, it is, it is legitimately, uh, bullshit. It's bullshit, apparently. Like, it is, it is already by a couple of attorneys. They describe it as untenable. Uh, the charges are untenable. Um, 
but yeah, they, they gave a criminal charge of disorderly conduct. So, yes, he pushes her head onto the floor with one hand and then places his knee on her neck for more than 20 seconds. Uh, he has not been charged, by the way. In case, in case, look, in case some of you are naive and somehow a sweet summer child who still has retained your innocence, he hasn't been charged. <laughs> I know a few of you are like, you know, he was scared for his life. He was that 12 year old girls are very known, are known to be very damaging. Yes, they can, they can scar your psyche for life. Mm. Yeah, I grab that one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I saw the ring, but ages ago. Damn disorderly 12-year-old. Such a danger to society. Thanks for the follow, Zeno. Zeno. Um, sweet summer child, lulls. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we had a few cops charge, get charged lately, so maybe there's some hope. I mean, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh... He's get caught doing it a dozen more times before they file charges. Yeah, that's that's a little more accurate. Um, how the fuck has Kosovo a more functional police force? <laughs> oh, it's interesting being an American. It's interesting being an American. Um, yeah. Um, oh, Jesus. Hmm. Yep. Gay high schooler says he's being silenced by LGBTQ law. Class president Xander M Morich, um, who's suing the state over its don't say gay law, said his principal threatened to cut his mic during graduation speech. Um, the school's first openly gay student to hold the title. Um... The, pres uh, the, the principal warned March that if his graduation speech referred to, uh, referenced his LGBTQ activism, they would cut off his microphone, end his speech, and halt the ceremony. He said that he just wanted families to have a good day and that if I was to discuss who I am and the fight to be who I am, that would sour the celebration. It was incredibly dehumanizing. It was intended to be. Um, so he's suing the school. <laughs> I hope his dad's a lawyer or something too. Um, we'll just get the part. We'll get the partners to cover it. Did you see how the cop answered the question in the depth trial? Were you scared? Uh, was it the guy who laughed and like no? <laughs> um, Police had uh, uh, the police had uh, told to apologize in a public statement for stopping my. Oh, the police had to apologize in a public statement for stopping my cousin without a reason. He didn't even have a driver's license. He was 14. Beautiful, Viva. Uh, that that level of accountability is not something we can even comprehend as a fucking country. Um, don't say gay bill is going to suppress anyone's rights. Leftists need to actually read the bill. Mm, all right. Um. No, it was a female cop. Then, yeah, no, I didn't see that Aspen. If you have a clip, I'll watch it. Um, yeah, quote, someone who hasn't read the bell. Um, you go to Westminster and pull the foppish walking scarecrow's hair. <laughs> Took me a second. I was like, which one do you mean? <laughs> Still not entirely sure which one you mean. They're cutting 91,000 civil service jobs, but it's not austerity. I mean, you know, they'd have to call it austerity for it to be austerity. Ah, Boris Johnson. Okay. <laughs> There's so many foppish walking scarecrows in your fucking government.
used a cost of living cabinet meeting in the Midlands on Wednesday to order his team to redouble their efforts to ease the financial pressure on struggling families. So they came up with plans to cut the size of the civil service by almost a fifth the current total, which would save them about 3.5 billion pounds. What's the population of Britain? What are you guys, like 38 million or some shit like that? 58 million? Sixty-six million or some shit like that. All right. Chase saying about eighty million. That's a disparity. At least one. Caleb with the only accurate answer so far. All right. That's forty-five pounds per house. Ah, cool. All right. That 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 works for me. You got like specific numbers, sixty-seven to. Uh, that's fifty-two pounds per house. Fifty-two pounds, six pence, give or take. How does that help poor people? You've just, you've just cut massive amounts of civil service. You've cut government systems and like support services for $52 and six pence in my pocket. Oh yeah, that won't be evenly distributed. It's not like that's gonna magically go back to every single person evenly. Let's just, just, let's just do it as even, let's be as conservative and generous with the math as we possibly can, right? Um, so 52 bu- 52 pounds and six pounds. That's yeah, that's a huge fucking windfall for families all over, all across the UK. I mean, that's going to like redefine, you know, people's lives. It's like second house money and shit. 52 pounds. Th- this is 1724, right? We are, we are in the 1700s still. No. Mm. Interesting. 52 pounds is nothing then. <clears throat> Uh, from 2010 to 2017, austerity led to at least 120,000 additional deaths. <sighs> oh, that's beautiful. Want to see the meme that was going around uh, fucking right wing circles? Fifty-two pounds won't pay for monthly fiber internet access in the U.S. Oh, it wouldn't even be close to pay for fiber internet, according to the British Medical Journal. Let's check. Yeah, that didn't age well, did it? That aged like milk. Yes, yes. The the shortage of formula we're have, uh, having. Oh, Greece bans LGBTQ conversion therapy. Under the bill, psychologists or other health professionals need a person's explicit consent to perform such treatment and face fines in a prison term if they violate the law. You know what? I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um... It applies to minors. Yeah. Um, They're also going to ban surgeries on intersex infants and babies born with atypical chromosomes that may affect reproductive anatomy in a way that does not fit with normative definitions of male or female. Good on Greek. Uh, Greece. Yeah. Greece doing better than fucking UK, huh? Uh, <laughs> social care, half a million adults waiting for help in England.
Oh, it doubled. Interesting. Shortage of care workers. Yeah. About par for the course. Yeah. That's just, I mean, Greece is, I, I would say Greece is one of those places that you should keep your eye on. Uh, they, um, after the 2008 credit crisis, Greece went back to some like old school roots and opinions and ways of doing things. Um, yeah, like they're worth keeping an eye on. They, they do some things. Yeah, they can swing from progressive to fash on a dime. Um, and when they do swing to fash, Greek, Greece has people who, uh, you know, do things. What's up, Gemma? Um, just one. Just one. Um. Ugh, boo. Um. So yeah, they they've they've always got some interesting things going on. Things that some particular ANCAPs aren't very fond of. I know, right? That's that's who we're we're alluding to. Just give a name. We're we're talking about the Greek anarchists. <laughs> they got a body count. They got a body count. Um do they they took out some fascists recently. Like, you know, within within relative amounts of years. Yeah. It is what it is. So, um, they're even talking about raising energy bills even further to pay for Bojo's power plants. They're constantly... Yeah, dude, uh, Zippy, they're constantly embattled. They go in and, like, um, do they, the, the Golden Dawn, like, do they destroy their offices and shit? Um, and they've, like, they, here. Look, look, this is, this is all of a, all right, we're, we're not going through this line by line. We're not going through this. Okay. Things happen in Greece. Things happen in Greece. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know. Yeah. What's Spain up to? Oh, I think I saw these. Uh, I saw. I think I saw this. Maybe it was in Spain. Maybe it was somebody else. Oh, either way. Three days of leave a month extended to five in some circumstances who suffer from period severe period pain. I don't know how they're going to define severe, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, nice. So finish watching the TV series spinoff of Taken, some rather wholesome anarchist rep in that show. Good, Gemma. Um, yeah, there was even in the all the way through. Un, uh, <laughs> um, unfortunately, this season of Starstruck, uh, which is Dimension Twenty, which is call a uh, dropout, which is college humor. Brennan Lee Mulligan. Uh, unfortunately, they finished the uh, their their first season of that that uh, campaign. But he has he has commentary throughout the whole thing, and all the way up into the final grand space battle, there's commentary about corporations and the fascistic nature and how they're you know they have no allies and it's just oh yeah, through the whole thing. He's a he's a good old boy. Um. 
taking gave Albanians a bad rap. Yeah, I don't think it was that that gave you guys a bad rap. <laughs> um, mostly Doctor defines it. I bet if it's defined like pain not controlled by OTC painkillers. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> probably if you uh, if your waist curls over in pain uh, during, you're probably not in the best working order. Um, you still fucking love that little selective trespassing law. It's fucking great. Yeah, he he just he's good at it. He's good at it, and he's on team. Um, the the um fantasy high anarchist scene has made the rounds a few times. Fucking a little gnome breaks them out of fucking jail, and just you know, um. What is the law? The law. Uh, what is the law? The law is nothing more than a promise of uh, of violence or force on the part of the state that's enforced uh, that is enforced by the police who maintain the status quo of the society as determined by the you know leaders of that society. And he pulls down a fucking balaclava and goes, "All right, who wants to who wants to make some bacon?" And lights a Molotov and tosses it into the fucking police station. Yeah, yeah. Brennan narrates that whole whole thing. Like, he's like, yeah. Like, he straight up drops some, like, anarchist uh, anarchist philosophy and praxis right into the game. Yeah, he's he is uh, he is openly an affirmed anti-capitalist. Yeah. Um, cramps like food poisoning. I never said they gave Albanians an inaccurate rep. It's, it's, he, there is across the board, like, if you, it, he can't help it. It's like, if I were gonna, like, you know, if I run a game, dude, there's anarchistic elements in it every time. Brennan, when Brennan writes, when he improvs, he improvs from the position of somebody who is anti-capitalist and has some anarchistic sympathies. Um, so, yeah, yeah, like, if he does high fantasy... It's there's some anarchism in there. If he does sci-fi, there's some anarchism in there. If he does whatever, it, it it makes its way in. There's always a critique of the corporate hierarchy and the corporatist structures, and there's a critique of power and force dynamics within a state. There's it just it happens. So yeah, if you, you like if you enjoy that sort of thing, you like watching a really really good GM run a game. Dimension Twenty is probably worth watching. Um, yeah. And, like, if you want the latest stuff, just go to Starstruck. Starstruck is their latest season. And it's good. It's good. Like I said, I just finished it, and I want season two already. <laughs> like, I can't. Homie, you can't leave me hanging. Just keep going. Just keep filming. But, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's being saved for Popos. <laughs> I can't ask that question. Uh, hey, another one for Popos. Louisiana State Troopers charged in beating a black man. Three of them? Three? Wow. Oh, that's, that'll help balance out Popos. Uh, is it archived on YouTube somewhere? No, it is not. The first episode is on YouTube, on their own channel. Um, no. And generally, people kind of respect their 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 IP. Yeah, the, like nobody's looking to pirate it. They're not. They're not owned by Warner Brothers. They're, you know, it's Sam Reich's company. Um, so, yeah, uh, if, if you ever want to watch some, let me know, uh, they upload their stuff to dropout.tv. Um, here, let me, all right, that one. This is dropout.tv.
So it's just, you know. And this is their media player. It's an app as well. So you can um, you can get it on your phone. You can get it on your whatever. It's You can get like the first seven days free, I think. Um, you can get the first seven days free, I think. I think that's the deal. Um, and then it's like six bucks a month. It's like $5.99 a month or $59 for 10 months if you pay for a year. That's, I think that's their price. Um, yeah. And, you know, if you do like just Dimension 20, just go in, binge watch a bunch of stuff for a month or two and then cancel your subscription and turn it back on uh, when it's time to turn it back on. So. Uh, I need new work fodder. People said to save political shit I watch for stream and find something else to listen to at work. Depends how you feel about it, how you want to do your product your like production cycle. It's up to you. I also need to catch up with Critical Role. Yeah, I don't I'm not I'm not a Matthew Mercer guy. I I, I appreciate him. He's a fucking fabulous DM, but I'd push you out of the way to get to Brennan's Brennan's table. If you invited me to Mercer's table, I'd definitely do it because it'd be a good game. But he doesn't run games in the style I like games run. And he doesn't run games in the style of, like, settings that I enjoy. Oh, is this the... Oh, is this the, uh, the, the Johnny Depp thing that you were talking about earlier? Alright. Did you have any reason to fear for your safety? Did you have any reason to fear for your safety at the time that you were talking with Amber Heard and the woman with her? I always fear for my safety. A potential suspect could have been in the house. So yes, I, my guard was not down if that's what you're asking. What did you do first? Did you look at the, throughout the house to ensure that the person wasn't there? Or did you ask the questions first and then look at the house? I attempted to ask questions first. I can't just go into a house and start checking it without asking questions. No, you guys do that all the time. This was a rich person's house. So you couldn't go into the house without asking questions because you'll get fucked. And yeah, I'm always scared. So what questions did you ask first? I don't recall specific questions. Do you recall any of your questions? I don't. Do you recall any of the answers that you were given? I don't recall. Now, we went through the domestic violence supplemental report and, and that could have been in the time that you were talking with Amber Heard and the woman with her. I always fear for my safety. A potential suspect could have been in the house, so yeah. I always fear for my safety. I always fear for my safety. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it, isn't it? That's pretty much the problem that nobody's like really going to talk about, huh? Hmm. Does she drive when she goes through a McDonald's drive through Um, yeah. Oh yeah. We've fucking, of course they're trained to. Hmm. I need to do food. I haven't thought anything. I haven't got anything prepared. I'm so behind today. And then I fucked up my neck again. Like it's, it's tight. And I took an IV, ibuprofen. We'll see how this fucking plays out tomorrow. I don't know how fucking a leg day fucked up my neck. God, I'm fucking, I'm a piece of work. I'm fucking broken. Leg day fucked up my neck. Um, either way, yeah, I need to get some food going. That's a thing I need to do. So let's ensure public can't leave. Hey, good on you, Alex. Like, congratulations. Yeah, eating like an actual human. Sleep well, Karina. Um... Yeah, sleep, like eating like an actual human. What a concept. All right. I'm going to keep those two up there. <laughs> Andy Dick and Sinn Féin explanation. Um, 
Two different videos. That would be hilarious, though. Andy Dick and Sinn Féin explained. Hmm. <laughs> they could have probably solved our problem. Uh, <clears throat> what? Hmm? What? I didn't say anything. What? Hmm? Hmm? What you doing? What's going on? Um, good night. Just give me a name. Thanks for stopping by. Tomorrow's bad movie night. I've got a couple of fucking. I got a. I got a couple of movie choices that could be interesting. Um, maybe some ones that, um, yeah, are in our traditional bad movie vein, and maybe some ones that you guys haven't heard of. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I got a couple potentially lined up for tomorrow. Ah, thank you, Deirdre. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's see what I, what I put in the queue. Either way, let's go say hi to public. Everyone, let's see. Get that lined up. Bye, everyone.